Hi guys, back with another video, and this is part two of ranking every single Dracular doll ever. Here we have G2 and G3 dolls. So we are just gonna get straight into this. First we have Ballerina Girls Dracula. She's pretty cute. I like ballerina dolls. I'm not a fan of the fact that her ballerina shoes have heels on them. That's not practical, but um, Considering it's a G2 doll, it is pretty cute. So I think I'm gonna put it on an A tier. And if you don't know anything about these tier lists, SS tier is best of the best dolls. B tier is when you're starting to be like, eh, it's okay. And D tier, it's a really, really bad doll and it shouldn't have been made. So that's a brief explanation. Let's continue. Next we have Comic Book Dracula, and I am not a fan of this doll. I don't like the colors. The orange sleeves is just so weird. I'm gonna put this at a C tier. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. And not to mention a lot of the G2 dolls aren't articulated, which I absolutely hate. Now we have Day to Night Draculaura, and I'll be honest with you, this doll is pretty cute. The only thing I hate is the molded on top. I hate molded on tops because it's just so cheap. I love the outfit in general, I love the shade of pink they chose, so I'm also gonna put this at an A. Electrified Hair Raising Draculaura is next, and the doll is okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I do like the eye makeup, I like the blue eyeshadow, but everything else I'm just kind of meh on, so I'm gonna put this at a B tier. It had potential, but this is G2. Things aren't gonna be super high quality. Up next is Emoji Draculaura. I think it should be illegal to ever include emojis into dolls. I know this was made probably in 2016 when emojis was a huge thing, but it's just, it's not good. Like the actual color scheme is nice, but the fact that it's emojis just irks me. So I'm putting this at a B tier and it's not articulated. I'm gonna include these two dolls together. It's Ghoul to Bat Draculaura and Ghoul to Bat Draculaura 2. Honestly, the concept of these dolls are pretty cool. I like the way that her dress transforms into wings. But again, the dolls are just cheap. I do kind of like the way that her top opens up into a design on the skirt when the wings open up. But again, it's just plastic. It's just a very clunky doll. For the first one, I'm going to put it at a B tier because I'm not really a fan of the design. It's really basic. But for the second one, I am going to put it at an A tier because I just like the design more. I like the pop of green and I like the design of the wings because it looks like a butterfly. Even though Dracula is a vampire, but it's, it's a doll. We don't have to think too hard about that. Next is Ghoul's Beast Pet Draculaura and Puppy. It, it's an okay doll, but the pet, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really match with anything other than the purse. I don't really have an opinion on the puppy. It's just kind of there. Maybe just get rid of the pet and put more attention into the outfit because the outfit, it has potential. It is pretty cute. So I'm going to put it on A tier for that but I'm being pretty generous here. Next is a pretty recognizable G2 doll. It's the first day of school Draculaura, and I'll be honest, this doll is pretty cute. I don't care that it's a G2 doll. I love it. I like the little blue. I'm gonna put her at an S tier only because she is a really recognizable doll. She's pretty iconic to G2, even if G2 didn't have a good record. She's a cute doll and she's articulated and her face is pretty cute. Next is How Do You Boo Draculaura? Yeah, it's a cute doll. It's a cute doll. I like the colors. I like the patterns. I like that everything matches. So this is going at an A tier. This next doll is probably one of my least favorite Monster High dolls ever. It is the How Do You Boo Ghoul Spirit Draculaura. <laughs> it's probably one of the cheapest Monster High dolls ever made. The skirt is one thin piece of fabric, probably feels like paper. She doesn't even have a fabric top, it's just molded on. So this is immediate D tier. <laughs> Horrible doll. I, I hate it. It's just, oh, it should have never been made. Next is probably one of my favorite G 
two dolls. It is Howling Hoodies Dracula. You cannot tell me that this doll isn't the cutest thing ever. She comes with a like a really cute hoodie and look at Count Fabulous. He's pink. It's so cute. I'm putting this at an S tier. I I'm mean, at an SS tier. I don't care. It's a really cute doll. This next Dracula is from the Ice Cream Ghouls Best Friend 4 pack. I don't really have much to say about this doll. I think I'm gonna put it at a B tier. It does have some nice elements. I like the kind of neck, collar, shoulder thingy. That's all I have to say about that. Next is Lots of Looks Dracula. Now, to be honest, I actually like this doll. I really like the blue outfit, which is technically just the base one with the blue glasses. It's just so pretty. I'm putting this at an A tier. The clothes could be better quality. This next Dracula is from the Monster Family 2 pack. I mean, oh, put it on a B tier. I like the colors, I like the patterns, but again, it's just a really basic doll. There's nothing special about it. Next is Dracula from the Monster Family Vampire Kitchen. Again, just a really basic doll, nothing special. I'm gonna put this at a C tier. <laughs> I don't like it. This next doll, I actually, I like a lot. It's Party Hair Dracula. It's a pretty good hair play doll. I love all the accessories it comes with. Her hair is pretty long and I just love the color scheme of light pink and baby blue. I think I'm gonna put this at an S tier. Next is Dracula from School Spirit 2 pack. I don't know. It's kind of tacky. I don't like the big D on her shirt. I just don't have strong feelings for this doll, so I'm gonna put it at C. Next is probably one of my most favorite G2 dolls, and it's the Shriek Rept Draculaura. She is amazing, she's fully articulated. I absolutely love the curly hair on this doll, and I love the concept, I love that. She's kind of a worker on a boat. I love the little sailor's hat. The skirt is cute. Everything is cute. The whole doll line was just amazing. So yeah, it's such a pretty doll, guys. It's adorable. Um, The next doll, not so much. <laughs> it's the swimsuit Draculaura. Swimsuit dolls, they're never that great. And this one especially, she's not articulated. She's boring. She's basic. And she's in the D tier. Next doll isn't nearly as bad. It's Dracula from the Voltage Science Class 2 pack. I do like the shade of pink they chose. Everything goes together. I love the little white collar she has and the black belt and the glasses. I am going to put her at an A tier. Next is another favorite of mine and it's Dance the Fright Away Party Draculaura. This Draculaura comes with a lot of different handheld masks. I love it. I especially love the blue cat ears because it matches with the rest of her outfit. Again, it's not a very high quality doll, but for what it is, I think I'm gonna put it at an S tier. I'd love to own it one day. And it's articulated, guys. That's a bonus, always. This next doll is Photo Booth Ghoul's Draculaura. She's really pretty, honestly. I really do like the outfit. I like that she's kind of at a masquerade party. I'm gonna put this doll at an S tier. This next doll is Draculaura from the Monstrous Rival 2 pack. I do like the very high boots. The dress is basic. I mean, the clothes in G2 mostly have been very basic. It's just a lot of dresses with random patterns on them. I'm gonna put it at A tier. It is a pretty doll, but it's low quality. This next doll is very interesting. Dracula from the Skotomit art class. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but this doll looks very, very similar to the Scarnival Draculaura from 2015. So I'm almost 100% sure when they were making this playset, they just reused Scarnival Draculaura from 2015 and slapped on a new face. I mean, look, they're literally the exact same doll. That is the epitome of lazy. So that's going straight to D tier. These next four dolls are very exciting because they are the G tree Draculauras. This first Draculaura is the core Draculaura. I don't know if you notice anything different, but one huge difference in G3 Draculaura is her main core doll um, doesn't have pink highlights. She actually has half pink and half black, and I don't know about you, but I love it. A lot of people are complaining, but 
I don't understand why Generation Tree is for a new generation of children. It would be very hard for Mattel to just continue with G1 because most children these days haven't watched any of the G1 movies, the shows, or even owned the doll, so they wouldn't know anything about the characters. I think a fresh start was the way to go. Anyway, let's actually get back to focusing on this specific doll. She's gorgeous. G3 Monster High dolls are going to be in a variety of body types and Jackalora actually has a shorter, more plumper body type and I love it. Moving to her face, I love the side glance, everything about her is so perfect and also all of the G3 dolls, their ears kind of poke out, they're bigger and I think it's adorable because for G1 and 2 the ears were kind of like pinned back to the head and you never saw them. For her outfit, I really do like it, I don't have anything to complain about. I love the kind of um, corset like top. She comes with a lot of accessories which I do like but the one thing I don't like is that she doesn't come with a stand. None of the dolls in G3, none of them have come with a stand. I mean I know the accessories are very important for doll play for children but I really do think it sucks that none of them have stands. So I do think that is one of the biggest downsides of G3 dolls. But one of the biggest upsides of them is they actually have an extra point of articulation they have a bust joint so I'm just gonna rank this one now and I'm gonna put her at an SS tier. Next is Creepover Party Dracolora. This is a sleepover doll. I love the little space buns on her hair. I love the, um, the little edges, the baby hairs she has. Again she comes with a lot of accessories and sadly no doll stand. I do like the big fluffy um it's not exactly a coat. I'm not really sure what it is. I wouldn't call it a coat because you wear coats outside, but um, let's just call it a fur coat for now. Again, her face is very pretty. I'm not like obsessed with it. So for now, I'm just gonna put it at an S tier. It is a really, really pretty doll, but I don't wanna get it immediately. Next is Dracula from the Ghoul Spirit six pack. And for everyone complaining that Dracula now has split dyed hair, here you go. Dracula will come with dolls that have the original black hair and pink highlights. So this cheerleader Draculaura is very, very cute. I love her outfit. I do wish the shoes had a bit more detail in them, but they're okay. This doll is really cute. I'm gonna put this at an S tier. One thing I will say is it's just the pom-poms that she's holding. They're a bit like weirdly shaped. I don't know. I don't know how hard it would be to make pom-poms out of tinsel or how long they would last so maybe that's a reason why they didn't make them from tinsel but like overall this doll's really cute and we have the last G Tree Jackalora doll so far and it's Gorganizer Jackalora. This doll looks the most like G1 Jackalora. She has the straight bangs and the black hair with the pink highlights. I love the fishnet top and I absolutely love the dress. I wish I had this dress, it's so cute. And her face is a little different. This time she has a heart on both cheeks and I actually really like it. I mean, the doll isn't extremely detailed, but again, the doll isn't the main thing that comes in this playset. The main thing is a coffin shaped organizing like thing so i will give this all the benefit of the doubt i'm gonna put her an s tier and i actually think i'm gonna move the cheerleader jackalora to an ss tier only because i love her uniform so much so there we go this is my final rating of all the g2 and tree jackaloras so far Maybe I'll make another video in the far future ranking every G3 Monster High doll. I think that would be fun. Let me know what you think of that idea, guys. All right, so this is the end of the video. This is where I ask you to like and please subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me about your opinions. Who would you put at D? Who would you put at SS? Where did I put your favorite G2 or G3 doll? And let me know what your favorite Jackalora doll is. Mine would probably be the core G3 Jackalora or the G1 Jackalora that comes in a two pack with Cloud Wolf. Those are probably my two favorite Jackalora dolls at the moment. All right, so yeah, that's everything I have to say, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching me rank these little pink plastic dolls. And I will see you guys 
in the near future in a new video. If you want me to rate any different characters from Monster High, please let me know. I would be happy to rate more dolls. It's very fun and I love sharing my opinion with you guys. I love hearing your opinion. So let me know. All right, this is the end of the video. Um, I will stop rambling and yeah. All right, goodbye guys. Thank you so much for watching.